should I go for the books? Uh, hmm. Should I just what should I do that I can uh, learn more and more words and vocabularies? You can uh, learn from the dictionaries hmm. and books hmm. and like newspaper. Hmm. I I don't read newspaper hmm. actually, but some everyone just suggests you should read newspaper. Hmm. In newspaper you can learn new words. Hmm. There is a lot of new words. Hmm. You can if you don't know the meaning of that word, hmm. you can search on the Google. Hmm. You can search anywhere hmm. to just know what is the meaning of this word. Hmm. So you can. And Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today we are going to have a great talk show and conversation regarding English speaking. Alright, yes. today we have Ms. Shafak and I am going to ask few interesting questions that how to speak proper English. Right, because she has been the student of Happiness Institute and now she is well expert of speaking English and even I have been also training for 11 years regarding English speaking training. <laughs> But yes, ladies and gentlemen, because, you know, many times it happens with us, you know, like people complain and people talk that, you know, we have been reading English for a long time, but we can't speak. We know grammar, but we can't speak. We know the tenses, modas, but we can't speak. There are a lot of queries, you know, like I always and every day receive different queries. Oh my God, sir, I'm a big fan. Sir, how can I speak like you, sir? I've been trying for a long time. I can't speak. There are multiple questions and these people also would be having multiple multiple questions right so I want to know the answers from you first of all what is the concept of speaking English that why max and max number of the people can't speak I want to know from you uh, first of all I would like to greet everyone and good evening everyone uh, as we you all know we are doing conversation about how to speak English so let's come to the point as you ask that maximum number of the people they can't speak English when they start they only just think that okay, I want to speak English, I want to speak English, but they don't try well. That's why they can't speak English. You don't have to only say okay, I want to speak English. First of all, you have to start it. Then hmm. you can speak English. Mind it, ladies and gentlemen, the most important factor that they always talk and say that I want to speak English, but they don't start. Until and unless you start, you cannot speak. So it means you want to say that. Yes if they have little knowledge like they know yes. little they know little like hi good morning good afternoon of they course. should start it. of course okay so like i want to know that how to start or how can we start like what are the methods uh, to start speaking english i want to know if you know something about english mm. so start it if you're sitting alone in your room so start making sentences mm. start reading book mm. start reading newspaper in your room mm. Mm. then you will understand ki how can we manage it mm. how can we understand when someone is speaking in front mm. of us so after this you will go in that field yes i am going it i can speak it i should start it when you will go in that way totally you will know how to speak with someone hmm. but the biggest problem is that yes uh, for example like you, when we sit in our room right there is a big and great question that who will analyze us hmm. who will notice our mistakes hmm. who will guide us yes. who will tell us what's right what's wrong because if i'm doing my practice alone inside the room yeah, how yeah. can i know my lacks so i told you that when you was doing anything in your room just go out with the, your friends with your like anything anyone and start speaking english mm. if that person knows mm. so you can easily analyze yourself that person will also analyze yourself where you're doing mistakes mm. and she and he will guide you it is wrong you should go for this mm. yes. okay that's really awesome thing that you have told but uh, you know like uh, let's have a great examples of that uh, many of the teachers that mm -hmm. have been teaching grammar for 11 years for 20 years for 25 mm -hmm. five years but students come like they even they uh, say today or they say now that uh, they don't call it pr pronounce it like we they call it yeah. we <laughs> right that's called ban yeah, yeah. and it's called bikaj so mm -hmm. when students see that and if the max number of the people read in this uh, type of educational institution right mm -hmm. so when they grow they start speaking English but they speak incorrect English like mm -hmm. they say be ban yeah, yeah. bikaj so how to improve this concept mm -hmm. I will tell you, like I am speaking like poor English, like V and I call it B. Mm. So it means I know the word, but mm. I don't know the 
pronunciation, how to pronounce this word. Mm. So if I want to pronounce this word, I have to practice it on it. Mm. I will just try to make it dynamic, mm. to practice more than more. Mm. Uh, like you have heard about it, like practice makes a man perfect. So we should start practice on that, but what we don't know actually. Mm. Then you will, you can remove your pull Okay, yes. so means we have to start doing practice. The practice makes a man perfect and practice is the most important aspect to improve yourself. But the biggest problem is that, that you know, like for example, if your tongue has not been twisted, yeah. right? This is also one of the concept mm -hmm. of to not speak correctly English or to not pronounce correctly, mm -hmm. right? I want to know that how to twist the tongue as you are speaking with great accent and you inspire <laughs> and motivate other people. And I also sometimes speak other people say, oh my God, what English. So I just want to know that okay, how to make our tongue so flexible that we can twist the tongue. Okay, I'll tell you, uh, let me clear. Like earlier, I was also like that. I didn't this kind of accent mm. as I have today. Mm. So I was thinking that okay, how can I make my accent dynamic? Mm. Then I start twist my tongue. Like I, I did some of the exercise like I like you have also made video mm. on that. Mm -hmm. So people can learn from there. Exactly. So they can twist their tongue mm. and they can just pronounce this word. Like if I tell you the word, normal people say concoction, important, intelligent. So they can concoction, intelligent, mm. Mm. important. Mm. So they can give the motive, they can give the dynamic way the words they are speaking, their speeches. Mm. If they try well. But the biggest question is arising here, like if you speak or the people start speaking like this, yes. people, other people start saying and criticizing them that you are being English person, it's a, it's a fake accent, mm. it's a fake style to speak, yes. right? Why are you doing this? So you don't need to worry about the people. Mm. Nah. If you want to make yourself a, like different from everyone, mm. so you need to focus on yourself. Mm. Don't think about what will people say about you. But living in India, India is a beautiful country and maximum of the people don't understand English. Mm -hmm. And if they learn anyhow, they learn English. Mm -hmm. And then how can they understand your this twisted accent, this Thor Fordwala accent? <laughs> how can they understand? So it's up to me, it's up to them. Like if they are if they don't know is speaking how to speak, mm. I will not speak in front of that people. Mm. If mm. he or she doesn't know how can I speak with them? Mm. If someone knows ki how to speak, mm. then I will speak there. Okay. So if somebody knows English, you will be speaking with that person. Yes. Achai, there are more of the students like who uh, who are who are in a coaching class or mm -hmm. they are taught they are trained in the coaching institution so they are crammed you know mm -hmm. they are mugged mm -hmm. that I get up in the morning at five o'clock I brush my teeth <laughs> that is the mouth I splash water on face and they mug up yes. Ram jata hai Ram nahi jata kya Ram jata hai kya Ram nahi jata Ram kyo jata Ram kyo nahi jata and I go I do not go do I go this type of methodology mm -hmm. how do you see this I don't think so it's good if you mug something you will always just go in that flow mm. like you have you know about that person i will not just tell his name mm. but he does mug the introduction mm. and when we just tell to him just give like give your introduction he goes in that flow Hmm. what he mugged hmm. so don't go don't go for this don't do this kind of thing mug do different Hmm. be unique out of the box hmm. if you give presentation today like this hmm. give presentation tomorrow for other way hmm. then you can change your style hmm. your accent your hmm. pronunciation your everything hmm. don't go in only one way one flow it hmm. will make you like you will go in a comfort zone you are going to comfort zone you are just losing your bodies and your you, you should sharp your mind if someone is talking with you then just if he is talking just make a sentence in your mind mm. not ki if he completed your thinking what should i speak what should i speak no it's not like that mm. you should sharp your mind first. okay so i think that you have sharpened your mind as well <laughs> as you also have said that you have sharpened your english so i want to know uh, some of the sentences i would like to ask you and you have to translate into english let me check your english oh right my God. Uh, so if I say मुझे जाना चाहिए, I should go. मैं जा सकता हूँ. I can go. मैं जाता हूँ. I go. मैं गया था. I went. मैं जाऊँगा. I will go. मैं जा चुका हूँ. I have gone. मुझे जाना चाहिए था. I should have go. I should have go. I should have to go. I should have to go. I should have gone. I should have gone. Sorry for that. Okay. मैं uh, मैं जा रहा हूँ. I am going. मैं जा रहा था. I was going. I was going. Okay. मैं दो घंटे से जा रहा हूँ. I have been going for two hours. You have been going for two hours. That's great. मैं बैठा हूँ. 
मैं खड़ा हूँ मैं आपका इंतजार कर रहा हूँ आप कहाँ हैं क्या आप आ रहे हैं क्या आप इंतजार कर रहे हैं क्या आप रास्ते में हैं हाँ जी मैं रास्ते में हूँ थोड़ा सा इंतजार करिए मैं दो मिनट में आ जाऊँगा ओके मैं बैठा हूँ मैं इंतजार कर रहा हूँ सोच रहा हूँ मैं सो रहा हूँ मैं भूल कैसे रहा हूँ How am I speaking? How am I speaking? That's great. Okay, that's fine. मैं जानता हूँ कि आप बहुत अच्छे हैं. I know you are very good person. I know कि आप बहुत अच्छे हैं. I know that you are very good person. Okay, मैं इंतजार कर रहा हूँ कि आप कब आओगे. I'm waiting. When will you come? मैं बस मैं दो मिनट में आ जाऊँगा. Just I'm coming within two minutes. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. And now I think uh, you are making your English and you have made your English very uh, understanding and you know and you understand English. Okay. Yes. First of all, let's talk about your practices. Like when you started uh, attending coaching classes, you were not that mm. this much. You may yeah. you were making a lot of grammar mistakes. You know, <laughs> I was. I was tortured. Oh my God! Why Shafak is not improving? She's making a lot of grammar mistakes. How was this journey, and how did you? How have you improved yourself? Uh, this journey was very amazing. It was like very unique experience. Mm. Like I learned a lot of things from this journey. Mm. When I started it, I was nothing. Mm. Seriously, I'm mm. telling you, literally, I was nothing. Mm. But I am something today. But bit by bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bit by bit, I am something today. Okay. When I started it, I I did a lot of grammar mistake. You always say that, oh my God, Shafak, what are you doing with yourself? You just change yourself, but just make it dynamic, and different. Then I thought, yes, you are absolutely right. Mm. I should practice. I should work hard for this. Mm. Then I started work hard. Then I give so much time mm. to my speaking. Mm. And I, whenever I sit alone. I speak mm, with mm, myself. Mm, mm. If I do something, I am just making food. I am just doing something, anything. Mm, mm. I speak in English. So they can also follow the tips, like you know, yes. they can translate into English whatever they are doing, whatever they do, like yes. so they can translate all the uh, continue tasks into English, right? Yes, absolutely. There is also one more question, like you know, many students have a great question, like who cannot come to us to Delhi mm. to take the training of Abdullah Sir and Happiness Institution. Mm -hmm. So they have questions that we belong to Bihar, Jharkhand, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, we belong to a rural area, village area. How can we improve our English and how can we make our English very dynamic? So if they want to take your classes, so they can take your classes on online. Let's okay. Try. Suppose if they have, uh, if they have no access of the classes, they want some practices, mm -hmm. some tips from you without the classes. Okay, without the classes. Mm -hmm. So first, start make, start just learn something, whatever you have. If mm -hmm. you have the book, you if mm -hmm. you have the newspaper, just mm -hmm. read it every day, mm -hmm. and uh, just understand what is written there. Mm -hmm. And uh, like bit by bit, as you said. <laughs> bit by bit. Yes. Bit by bit, mm -hmm. you will know how to. Understand the English. Mm, mm. Then you will realize if you understand how to understand, then mm. you will speak also. Okay, so if you understand how to understand, then you will understand and you will speak. <laughs> yes. Right. That's a great factor. But there is one point is you know like we have lithological issue. Mm. What do you mean by lithological? Like forgetting, forgetting the, words. the words. So we remember the words, learn the words, we forget the words. Yes. This is the biggest blunder that we all face. Yeah. Even I face, you Even face. face. So how to work upon it? How to work upon the words vocabulary part? As you, as I have told you that, ki first sharp your mind, mm -hmm. and uh, if you're speaking, if you're giving your speech, so don't think about uh, if I'm speaking this line, what is uh, second line, mm -hmm. what is third line? Mm -hmm. Don't give stress it. Mm -hmm. If you ha if you have prepared a speech, so just giving you know, first first of all keep calm. No, no, I'm not talking about speech actually. I'm just give, okay. I'm just giving. Example: mm -hmm. If you have a lithological problem, mm -hmm. then I'm just giving mm -hmm. you. And uh, at the time of speaking, most of the number of the people just forget about the word. Mm -hmm. What is the word? Mm -hmm. So for this, you should remember. You should uh, practice, and you should just keep it in your mind. And uh, it is a problem. It everyone faces. No, problem. suppose like you know, I want to learn the words. Mm -hmm. So should I go for the books? Uh, mm -hmm. Should I just what should I do that I can uh, learn more and more words and vocabularies? You can uh, learn from the dictionaries mm -hmm. and books. Books mm -hmm. and like newspaper. Mm -hmm. I I don't read newspaper mm -hmm. actually, but some everyone just suggests you should read newspaper. Mm -hmm. In newspaper you can learn new words. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of new words. Mm -hmm. You can if you don't know the meaning of that word, mm -hmm. you can search on the Google. Mm -hmm. You can search anywhere mm -hmm. to just know what is the meaning of this word. Mm -hmm. So you can and if you just learn the word, first mm -hmm. of all write on your notebook. Right. Yes. Right. Then just keep it in your mind. Mm -hmm. So learn the word from the newspaper. Write on your notebook. Yes. Keep in your mind and bring it on your tongue. Of course. If you bring it on your tongue, 
you are the master of the words okay but the point is that for example we learn the words mm -hmm. we forget the words so we learn the words we forget the words so how to keep it lifetime go means jana we have lifetime means go means jana go there means wahan jao but how to make every word like go <laughs> so if it's a very small but two words like mm. two later in mm. this jio mm. mm. finish it so if you want to just keep it in your mind for lifetime mm. so write it so many times mm. if you write it so many times what is the spelling of this word what is the spelling of this word you will keep you will keep in your mind yes i did a lot of hard work and practice on this word so how can i forget it mm. so first mm. of all do practice it okay so we have discussed about english speaking and the tips and tricks of english speaking vocabularies and practicing english pronunciation i also want to take you to the zone of communication skills mm. right because <laughs> english speaking is a different part yes. communication skill is a different part yeah. how is your communication first of all i want to know uh, actually according to me i think it's good mm. yes. it's good how can you analyze and judge yourself like you know i think your teacher must judge you yeah, yeah my my teacher always give me the compliment your mm. communication is very good my friends also give me because i have the one power mm. i listen very much mm. if i listen people mm. is like people love to talk with me mm. Mm. so th if they start talking with me when they stop then i start my communication okay so it means that listening is the most important aspect or part of yes. communication of right so how do you see like you know how to build the communication skills and how to be great and effective communicator please tell if you want to become an effective communicator so as i told you just mm. listen mm. and then if that person is stop mm. then give your point mm. and uh, when you start communicating don't talk about only yourself mm. like you i i i me mm. me me no just ask just mm. prefer that person mm. if you should talk about that person mm. not about yourself you should can talk about yourself like little bit mm. not that much mm. so if you like only talk about yourself that people will get bored okay yes. so it means that we should not be a self talker we not should, should not be a selfish yes and uh, own blower of course own trumpet blower okay so we should talk about others we should not do i me my and we mm. should do you you your yes. and yours right of course okay that's one of the interesting factor that you have told about communication skills but as some i listen about this communication that excuse me listen what is not being said mm -hmm. like listen that thing what is in the heart yeah. so how to understand this part of communication if somebody is not expressing with the words how can we understand his or her emotions kya hai what is this communication it's about what? psychology it's about psychology right yeah. it's about more psychology yes yeah, cause so you can first read and see his or her face mm -hmm. uh we can say like what we don't say by our mouth we can just say by our eyes mm, exactly. so yeah so we first of all we show in their eyes mm. what they want to say mm. and then analyze and then understand okay so my yes. behavior by a contact yeah. gesture expression of course we going to understand okay let's uh, divert the point and let's me come to the final point of this uh, session and talk show and i'm coming to the point like you are so much interested in this and you are do you have been doing for for a long time like public speaking right because <laughs> when you speak people give you compliment yes. people comment for you and people say wow this girl is speaking amazing and fabulous speaker so i want to know some more tips and uh, tricks regarding public speaking and they also want to know and learn from you please like public speaking can change you totally mm. like you know i was very shy mm. i didn't talk to anyone mm. i was like introvert mm. but now i am very extrovert mm. because of the my public speaking mm. Mm. whenever i just go on the stage mm. i go with the confidence mm. i go with a like a mood makeup mm. and i don't give stress for anything mm. i am very free mind mm. so then i deliver my topic my speeches front of the public mm. then they love me mm. if i go like this like a robot mm. how will they love me but maximum of people i have seen like if they can speak good english like they go on the stage they stand like this with a flexible yeah. body and they don't give any solid point or they don't give a, a, a strength to their body language mm. and expression and eye contact what about those people what about those is people that who don't uh, actually they don't have like any kind of interaction with mm. the people mm. if they want to be like a extrovert mm. and they want to make connection between their mm. audience and with them mm. uh, so they can just show your bo their body mm. they can use your they can use their hand gesture posture expression eye contact voice tone fluctuation tonality modulation for everything they if they 
give everything for their speeches, hmm. people will be interested in their speeches. Okay, so I have one more question. That should we be giving our speech by standing or by walking, by pace or by just mic or just by the lecture table? How should we be giving a speech? If you have the lecture table, so hmm. you can give uh, front of like uh, by standing hmm. and you can if you want to speak like up sitting on the chair mm -hmm. so you can if you have the stage mm -hmm. so if you go on the stage first of all see how it is big mm -hmm. if it is so big and if it is so small you should cover the space mm -hmm. by walking don't walk don't show your back to mm -hmm. your audience mm -hmm. like go like this come like this mm -hmm. and use your whole body mm -hmm. and like don't use your gesture a lot like this much mm -hmm. no if your audience is like not that much so mm -hmm. don't use your gesture like this mm -hmm. if it is hall is not that much big so you should not use your hand gesture like this hmm. so according to the hall according to the audience you hmm. should your body okay in terms of the hall and in terms of the audience the number of the audience we should use uh, you know our gestures and postures and exactly that uh, body language of course. one of the biggest factor one of the biggest question of the students are coming like you know my god Oh, we are we are good speakers. I'm English, right? But uh, the way you all train and you all talk and you all speak on the stage, right? You know, how could we do the practice of this public speaking at our home, sitting out at home? How could we do the practice of this? Okay, so if you if they want to speak like us, so mm. they should watch our video first. <laughs> okay, that is. Right, right, if right. If they watch our video, so mm. they will know mm. how we manage ourselves mm. on the stage mm. and how we communicate with people, mm. how we give our presentation. Mm. So then they will realize mm. what is a method of this. Right, right. Yes. Exactly. So they should follow mm. and they should work hard for this mm. if they want to, if they want to be like this, mm. if they want to speak like this. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, Shafak. It was really yeah, nice talks welcome. and talk show. And it was an amazing conversation with you. And uh, Shafak has shared a few interesting points with you ladies and gentlemen i think these points are going to work for you yes. because uh, these points are about english speaking about public speaking about communication skills and if you implement and if you apply these rules and laws and these tips and tricks in your life in your public speaking you are going to be an effective public speaker and english speaker so apply this and uh, may god bless you thank you so yes. much